Welcome back. We're still speaking about um, using genetic algorithms to solve permutation problems and we mentioned before that the most famous problem is the traveling salesman problem where we have uh, different orders of, of, of many many cities and we want to find the best route. Now we in the previous video spoke about um, encoding or representation for uh, permutation problems in this video we start talking about selection methods as we know from before uh, when we explained the outline of the genetic algorithm we mentioned that chromosomes need to be selected from the population to be parents or to be input to a crossover um, and we also spoke about uh, a mutation now we have a little question here and the question is how to best select those chromosomes basically we want the best ones to survive so we want always the best chromosomes the good candidate solutions to survive and so we can use them to create new offspring or we can, we can use them to create new candidate solutions now for this there are several methods several selection methods in these videos we will be explaining the roulette wheel uh, um, uh, selection method the rank selection method and the steady state method we begin with the roulette wheel selection uh, in this method parents are selected according to their fitness what that means is the better the chromosomes are the more the more chances they have to be selected so if or the if the, if the fitness value as uh, the higher the fitness value the better the chances are so if a chromosome has a high fitness value then that chromosome has a good chance to be selected so let's imagine for example a roulette wheel as you can see here at the bottom where all chromosomes in the population are placed and the area each chromosome covers corresponds to its fitness function uh, if we see here this chromosome for example the purple one um, covers almost half of the roulette wheel that means it has a very large um, uh, fitness value right and these ones again uh, have smaller fitness, va fitness value so they cover smaller slices of this pie chart of the roulette wheel now if you imagine if we throw a marble and then we chose the chromosome where that marble settles as you can notice chromosomes with bigger fitness values will be selected more times so this one as, as we mentioned have has almost half of the pie chart so if we throw marbles several times then there are good chances that the marble will land here more will will stop here more times than it will land or stop here here or here again because this uh, area is quite large this is how the roulette wheel uh, selection method works in the next next video I'll just explain a very nice and simple algorithm, the, the algorithm behind it, and then we'll have a look at some Java implementation. Let me stop here and see you next time.